Have you ever heard the saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend? The enemy of my enemy, my friend? Or the enemy of my friend, my enemy? The car world is cutthroat and companies constantly strive to dethrone the king. Recent sales numbers point to Tesla and now BYD as the kings of the EV world. To keep up with royalty, two arch rivals are teaming up to stay in the game. That's right, Nissan and Honda are joining forces lest they become history. Is this a match made in heaven or a desperate attempt to keep up? Will their combined power create a game-changing EV? And what does this mean for the future of electric cars? Hi, I'm Sinue. This video is brought to you by the Drone Quote EV Calculator. If you're considering an EV, use our free EV calculator to see your savings, electricity used for driving, and even how many solar panels you need to drive an EV. And if you feel we earned it, please love tap the subscribe button. Before we discuss their new partnership, let's revisit what makes Honda and Nissan unique. As the auto industry shifts towards electric vehicles, where do these companies stand and what strengths do they bring? While both companies produce reliable vehicles, Honda has traditionally set a high standard for reliability. Their cars are known for lasting longer and requiring less maintenance. Nissan, however, has made significant strides in recent years and some of their models now rival Honda's reliability. Where Nissan might shine is with innovation. They've been at the forefront of pushing boundaries in technology and design. Take the Nissan LEAF, one of the first mass-produced electric vehicles, as a testament to their early commitment to EVs. As a matter of fact, one can argue that the Nissan LEAF paved the way for mainstream EV adoption when it was released in 2010. But aside from a vehicle released 14 years ago, what else has Nissan done to keep up with competitors, and how has Honda made an effort to be relevant in the world of EVs? Nissan's strategy centered on making EVs accessible. The LEAF proved that everyday drivers could embrace electric vehicles, while models like the ENV200 demonstrated the potential for commercial EVs, albeit with dismal range. However, this focus on practicality might have led to less innovation than some competitors. Honda's initial approach was experimentation. Limited run EVs, a strong emphasis on hybrids, and explorations of fuel cell technology. While this built expertise, it meant slower momentum in the all-electric market. However, from their output efforts in the last 10 years, one could hardly argue that either company was fully on board with electric vehicles. Unfortunately, the lack of buy-in led other companies like BYD, Tesla, and others to gain significant momentum and market share, resulting in both companies looking at one another for a lifeline. But what is it about the competition that has two enemies lending a hand to one another? I spent several hours researching this video and I couldn't find a list of electric car production volumes that placed Honda or Nissan. Instead, the top five companies included BYD, who just beat Tesla's delivery volumes in 2023, followed by Tesla, VW, GM, and Stellantis. The only mention of Nissan was in the R&M Alliance, another partnership that Nissan got into with Renault and Mitsubishi. That partnership delivered 259,000 EVs. So if you're Honda and Nissan and you can't even place in the top 20 by yourself, what other choice do you have than to find a partner for the EV dance? Nissan already has alliances with Renault and Mitsubishi. So should we discount the Nissan-Honda partnership or what should we expect from it? If Nissan and Honda manage to create cost-effective, high-appeal EVs, the entire industry could feel the ripple effects. This would challenge the dominance of Chinese manufacturers and introduce more affordable Japanese options to the U.S. market. Improved affordability is a significant factor in increasing EV adoption, and this partnership can potentially expand the pool of buyers. Nevertheless, it's important to remember that a partnership alone won't solve the issue of low EV demand. Consumer perception, charging infrastructure, and a range of other factors all influence the public's willingness to embrace electric vehicles. The hope is high for these two companies to succeed, but we should remember that not all partnerships flourish. The fact is that partnerships in and of themselves are complex, let alone an alliance in the automotive industry. Even between companies with seemingly compatible goals, 
merging corporate structures, and aligning design philosophies can be significant roadblocks. Some examples that come to mind include Daimler, Chrysler, GM, and Fiat, and that one time that BW and Suzuki couldn't stay amigos. The odds are stacked against the Nissan Honda partnership, and that's a fact. While they're both Japanese companies, they have different company cultures. Plus, a definite power imbalance could lead to resentment among the decision makers at the little table and those at the big table. I mean, for every car that Nissan sells, Honda sells seven vehicles according to 2022 sales figures. Who do you think will wear the pants in that relationship and how will it make the other side feel? The Honda-Nissan alliance is a strategic move that could redefine the future of electric cars. It promises more innovation, a more comprehensive range of choices, and potentially even a boost for the EV market in the US. But I wouldn't hold my breath. The Chinese aren't going to sit around and let their neighbors steal their thunder. As discussed in this video, BYD has already dethroned Tesla in terms of manufacturing volume. And if Tesla is losing sleep over BYD, Nissan and Honda better cook something real special if they want to be taken seriously because BYD doesn't even see Tesla as a competitor. So what room does that leave for the Nissan-Honda partnership?